There was a plan. Now you're on the ground. What do you do? We call it Mars Direct. A simple, yet effective plan to get us from point A to point B. SI doesn't have to be $400 billion, and we don't have to invoke any incredible technologies or magic or anything. We, we can stay within the realm of things that are doable today with just a certain amount of hardware development. Though it was never put into practice, it inspired a new generation to dream about one day reaching the Red Planet. Mars is where the science is, it's where the challenge is, and it's where the future is. What, what I really want to try to uh, achieve here is to make Mars seem possible, uh, make it seem as though it's something that we can do in our lifetimes. That's what we want. Now, this generation is giving birth to a new golden age in space technology. Reusable rockets, Mars base analogs, more experience in the ISS, better spacesuits, Starship. So um, I'm gonna talk uh, Mars Direct 2.0, how to send humans to Mars using uh, Starships. The dream is alive and we need a plan. A simple, affordable, safe and robust architecture for a mission to Mars in the next 10 years. What happened in 1492? Well, Columbus sailed in 1492. Well, 500 years from now, they will remember what we do to make their civilization possible. So this is the most important thing we could do. And if you have it in your power to do something great and important and wonderful, then you should. Four ships, six astronauts, more than 10 simple contingency plans to ensure the survival of the crew. Mars Direct 3. Live presentation at the Mars Society's online convention.